So to make this easier, I'm actually gonna pull up my laptop and share my screen because I wanna show you how you're gonna go through this process and really crafting out kind of like your process, your system of how you're helping people and once again choosing the product that you're gonna sell. Hello everybody, welcome back to Zero to 10K, the 25 part series and how to make $10,000 and honestly a lot more. I cannot believe we are on day 15 of this series. We only have 10 days left after this, which is just insane. If you guys have been loving this series, comment below, let me know. This is the first time I'm ever doing like a 25 part series and the first time I'm doing this on YouTube. So if you guys are loving it, I just always love to know. So let me know in the comments. Now today, of course, we are still in part two of the money system. We're going through brand and today what we're going to cover is creating and identifying the product that you want to sell, right? So up until now, we've done the mindset work. We've done the, you know, creating the brand, the brand story, identifying your specialized skill, what you want to be known for, your values, beliefs, and everything else in between. Now, of course, we are going to come up with the actual product that you want to sell because when it comes to attracting money to us, yes, we can attract it from like anywhere. Like honestly, we can get a check in the mail for $10,000. But if we want to create a personal brand in a business that doesn't just bring us money once, but repeatedly every single day, we need to have a product that we are going to sell. Now, honestly, we've kind of already done the hard part because creating a product is really easy, especially since we already identified our specialized skill because all we have to do now is basically just come up with what type of product we want to sell and like the process and how we're actually helping people with. So to make this easier, I'm actually going to pull up my laptop and share my screen because I want to show you how you're going to go through this process and really crafting out kind of like your process, your system of how you're helping people and once again choosing the product that you're going to sell. So if you look at my screen here, what I basically want you to do is grab a piece of paper once again or get a document just like this and I want you to brain dump everything that you would help someone with and put it into like an A to Z process. So once again, if your specialized skill is helping people um, put on makeup, gain confidence, find the love of their life, get better at playing piano or learn how to play piano, writing a book, literally anything and everything, you need to have a A to Z process and how you're actually gonna help that person with. So for this example, I'm gonna use the example of losing weight. So let's say I want you to like, you know, play out this scenario. So for an example, let's say I was your bestie or I was your potential client and we were sitting across the room just like this and I'm like, okay, I need help with this thing. Like I need help with losing weight what are the steps that you would take me through to actually get to my desired result, which is like my dream body, my perfect body, where I can put on a cute dress, maybe a swimsuit, go to the beach and not feel insecure about myself, okay? So like, what would be the process that you would go through? So for an example of this, if I, if you guys are my potential client and I was an ex expert at losing weight, what would I go through? So I would probably first have you like set goals. Like what do you actually want, right? Is it just losing weight or is it reaching a specific physique? Is it doing it for a specific event? Like what are your actual goals? And then I get into reframing the beliefs that you already have right now. Like if I was helping someone lose weight, they probably have a lot of like bad beliefs and thoughts about themselves, right? They might believe that they have to cut out carbs and they can never eat chocolate again to lose weight. And that couldn't be like further from the truth. Once again, that's like the belief that I have and that's what you're gonna help somebody with. And that's also why we already did the values and beliefs for ourselves. So this is gonna be a lot easier, right? So reframing the, be the beliefs, talking too fast, reframing the beliefs, that would be like the second step that I would go through. Um, then maybe the next step is new routine. You need to have a good routine in order to lose weight, right? After that, maybe you're going through like food, like food 101, just made up like a fancy term. You go through and you talk about what people, what they should be eating for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner, and for snacks. That's what you would be helping somebody with. And then number five, maybe now it's workouts. Now it's going through, this is actually your workout routine and how you're gonna be losing that weight. And then the last step is going through consistency, 
right? So if you were my client and I was helping you lose weight, this would be like the process that I would go through. So basically like you just want to brain dump all of the steps. It doesn't have to be in order quite yet, but if you're going through and you're helping somebody, let me think of like a really random topic. If you are helping somebody become a school teacher, what are the steps that you would go through with them to actually get that position? I know nothing about that, right? But if I was helping somebody with that, let's say like, you know, the example, I'll write it down here again, becoming a school teacher. If you're helping somebody with that, I would assume they would need to like go to school and get a certificate in teaching. They would need to learn about like kids and students. Um, they would need to set a goal, goal to get a job. They would um, maybe need to to be around other teachers to learn the ropes, so like shadowing. Then maybe it's actually like applying for, oops, applying. If I can type applying for jobs in their city, right? And then maybe it's going for the interviews and prep, and then it's like getting the job, and then it's um, transitioning from job to work. I don't know, like their current job to work. So like I know nothing about once again becoming a school teacher, or like anything. But I just came up with like a few steps, like I might have to move them around, but like that's the process. Once again, you guys are skilled in what you do. Okay, you already know what you're helping people with. You've done it before for yourself and you've probably helped other people already, right? So what you wanna do is just like brain dump what you're gonna be helping these people with and put it into like once again, first brain dump and then put it into an A to Z process. Because once you do that, the second step of coming up with a product to sell is basically from there, what type of product you want to ask yourself what type of product would best fit the steps and what type of product do you actually want to create and sell right so there are basically two types of products that you're going to be selling as a personal brand okay and the two that i'm going to go through is digital products or services so digital products this can be once again this can be a course this can be a guide maybe it's a journal they can be templates a form of a membership like what i have um, it can be ebooks or it can be actual services, right? So this is maybe where you get on calls with people and you're doing coaching sessions, right? Remember when I came up with my first offer, it was one-on-one -on -one six week coaching program. That's what I did. It can be consultations. Maybe you do a group coaching program. It can be like live classes or live workshops, right? Live meaning you can do it online through Zoom or maybe it is you're doing it like in person done for you services. So maybe if your your specialized skill is being a writer, maybe you're doing ghost writing, right? So it's that's a done for you service, or you can do a hybrid with a digital product. So for an example, my main offer is monetized social membership, which some of you guys are already in it, which is so exciting. But what monetized social membership is, is a combination of a membership portal, which is basically a course where you get access to video lessons, resources, templates, and guides, and how to build a very profitable personal brand and business that makes you over six figures a year. And then there's also coaching sessions with me so every single week there's a weekly q a that i do with all of the members in monetize social membership community where they can come on a zoom call with me and ask me questions and then i also do like trainings on there too so mine's actually a hybrid with a digital product and a service right so think about what will be like what's like a really good product for the steps that you create right and it could be a combination of these and that's why i wrote down like what do you actually want to create because for me like i've i've honestly created all of these in my career of being a business owner and i still have a lot of these that i sell but you want to start off with one okay if you're just starting your business and your brand don't do more than one you might be looking at this you're like okay i want to create a course a journal and i also want to do like done for you services don't do it all at once i promise you you're gonna get overwhelmed choose one that you are so excited about doing and run with that 
okay? And once again, it's gonna be a lot easier when you first go through this process because you might think to yourself, okay, this actually is going to be a lot easier to teach other people if it is in an ebook. Or you might find it's actually easier if I record videos and then give like um, like a recipe or cookbook. And that could be, once again, like a course or a bundle, right? So you'll come up with what that is. And you might already have something in mind, which is great. But if you don't already, this process is really going to help you come up with the product that you're going to sell. So you already know for day 15, today's action item and homework is writing out the step-by-step -step A to Z process and what you're helping somebody with, and then picking a product to sell. You do not have to start to create the product unless you want Want to because tomorrow for day 16 we're gonna go through creating the actual product i'm gonna share a few resources that i use and also like tech to set it up with like a landing page and payment processor so we're gonna go through that tomorrow but i want you to first go through and pick out like what the product is and of course as always comment below and share what product that you are going to be creating for yourself and as always if you need to catch up on any of the videos from this 25 part series i'm gonna link the playlist right here that's all for today i will see you guys tomorrow for day 16 and until then make sure that you stay unforgettable